my viewers. So in our in this lesson, in our previous lessons, we saw how now we are creating uh, alignments, how we are producing profile views, uh, surface profile, and also design profile for alignments in a given surface. So in this lesson now, I want us to see how now we can create uh, what we call an assembly. So in this sample, we have, we, we've got uh, two alignments. When I come to in the prospector tab here, I've got my alignments created. You can see first street and second street. So these are the my alignments which I already have, I've created on this particular parcel. When I put my cursor there, it shows me that the second street and then this there, first street, alignments. So to continue, and also you can see I've created the align the profile views, design profile, and uh, also design profile for first street and surface profile for each to make us a curve, to make it curved, and also for the uh, first street and, and the second street profile views. So we've got our profile view, surface profile, and design profile. Remember, when you want to create uh, uh, an assembly, you must have those two profiles, uh, surface profile and the design profile for each and every alignment. So now we have our profile views and we'll use your alignments. So I want us to create what we call an assembly. Assembly, assembly is uh, now how to design the road. Mm. So I'm going to show you how now we can design the road and pick the components for designing our road using an assembly. So when you click on the assembly, we also have got assembly here. We've got our assembly created, we have assemblies. You can see we have an assigned sub-assembly, which is that by default. So first of all, when you come to assembly, on that, uh, on the creation of design, I want to show you how you can create assembly. So when you click an assembly, you give it a name. So I can give it a name based on my alignments. So you just type like first street. Just give it a name so that you don't, you don't forget. So once you click create an assembly, you, you click OK, and then you'll to insert where you're going to create your assembly. So just in insert somewhere here. So this is our, our assembly. So on this assembly, I want to show you how you can add components. Hmm? The, road net, the road components, the components for designing a road network system. So once you place, so this is our center line when you're creating an assembly. So I want to activate under the palettes, I come to tool palettes. When you click on the tool palettes, it will open the tool palettes window. So when you just try to open, you can see now we have got some of the basic assembly which already has been created. We have basic assembly, basic lane, divided highway, uh, primary road full section. You can always insert. There are ways of creating assembly. We have two ways. You can just, just pick an assembly by default, or you can create assembly by inserting uh, uh, elements. So that's an assembly. Then I come to basic. So when you come to basic, these are some of the basic components used to design an assembly. We have the, the basic lane, we have transition lane, we have shoulders, we have basic curbs, we have basic curb and shoulder. So it depends on the type of assembly that you want to create. So you pick up each and every component and then you insert your parameters based on that. So I want to start on basic. So when I want to seek a basic lane, so when you click on a basic lane, because we have that assembly, then you have the properties of that particular basic lane. So here, on, ad on the parameters, so when you scroll under the properties, when you click on any component, this properties palette will open. So you can see under the parameters, you have to decide. We have to start from the left or right. Then this is the width, this is the depth, and this is the slope. Mm. So for example, I want to start from the left, right, and my width, I just leave it by default, depending on the size of the, of the, the road. So I have you to use 3.6 meters, and then my depth is 0 0.2 meters, and then my slope is zero, negative 2%. So when you click on right, I come and click on this because I'm on the right side. 
you click on this line you can see that's a, a line that's a basic lane then also come and change to left when you click on left under the parameters you come and click on the left side those are some my, my basic lanes there then you hit your enter key mm -hmm. so from the basic lanes i want to now to create uh, like uh, uh, a shoulder i want to create my shoulder when you click on shoulders the palettes uh, will appear so just check on your parameters and see whether you are touching on the left or right so this one is in the left you always click this upper circle so you can see that's my basic shoulder then i come to change to right then i do on the right also pick my basic shoulder then you hit your enter key then i come to do my uh, basic curb and data you click then they on the pallets you can see start from the right i can just i leave those parameters default that's my basic curb and data then you change how to change if you don't change when you're producing a report you'll have a lot of errors so i could do left i click on left so you can see this is my basic curb and gutter which allows water to run so that it doesn't flood the the road then you press enter then from there i do like maybe i want a sidewalk i click on the sidewalk so in the parameters it's semi search on the left this is my sidewalk where the pedestrians walk so that's my sidewalk then i come to do right That's my sidewalk on the right. Then you hit enter. So from there, I do what we call basic curb and gutter. Mm -hmm. This is a display of a ditch, cut and fill slopes. So when you click on basic slide side slopes and the pallets, I start with the right. So that's on the right. That's cut slope and this is fill slope. I come to left. You have to check left. Then you click. So then I press enter. So those are my components which um, I want to use to design my road network system. Yeah. So these are the components which are placed up here: the basic lane, gutter, sidewalks, and uh, field slope and cut slope layout. So once I'm done through, I can close the pallets window. So you can see I have that assembly. So this assembly will now help me now to create uh, what we call a corridor. You must have an assembly before you create a corridor. So that's one of the ways of creating an assembly. Another method of creating an assembly, you simply click on the tr uh, tool palette and then just click a default assembly. Like for example, I want to use primary road network, primary road full section. Remember this is a section of a road. So I do primary road section. I don't want to do divided highway. I just do one. So I come and pick, click, and then it allows you now you can place it here. Yeah. Then you press enter to exit. So I have two assemblies. Mm -hmm. This is for just the basic uh, road full network, road uh, primary road full section, and this is just my basic assembly which I've created based on my. Uh, components which I want to create my road from. So that's how we create an assembly and how methods of creating assembly you can create by placing the components or just pick a default from the tool palettes mm -hmm. window. So when you look into these assemblies you can see I have, I've got two assemblies here which are already shown in my in my working space or in my model. So when you look into this now I have my as, uh, uh, have my uh, you must have a, an alignment you must have profile views for each base the design profile and surface profile for each alignment and also i have my two assemblies so my two assemblies will, one will represent uh, road one and the other one will represent road two and also we have seen how now we can have create assemblies two ways by placing your own components from left to right and giving the parameters or just basic or just simply pick an assembly, basic assembly from the tool palettes 
then it just plays. So that's how assemblies are created for viewers and how we enter parameters in different regions in our road section to design a road network system. Thank you, viewers. In our next lesson, we are going to do to show you how now we can create a corridor. Since now we have our assemblies created, we have our design profile created, and we also have our alignments created. Thank you so much, and let's meet in the next lesson. Thank you.